Okay, I had some people express uh, surprise with the laptop I used every day. So I figured I'd do a little quick video showing it off. It's a, I think 2001 is when it was made, um, Toshiba Portage 3110CT. It's really thin, really light. Probably a four or five thousand dollar laptop when it was new. Uh, I've got a PC Net 802.11N Wi Fi card. A 40 gigabyte IDE hard drive, it has 128 megs of PC66 RAM and a 300 megahertz PDM2 mobile processor which has a 66 megahertz front side bus and 256 kilobytes of cache. Uh, it's got a nipple mouse which is awesome and an 800 by 600 LCD which has crazy good contrast uh, especially for its age. Um, it's running on Crunchbang Linux um, with the Licorix kernel. It's running an open box window manager and I use it every day. Um, I have XChat running, connected one server and one channel, uh, two instances of links, two in graphics mode. Um, this this one has uh, Dwarf Fortress forums open. I was reading some stuff. And Gmail on HTML mode which is awesome. Um, it's very smooth to do anything pretty much. Uh, shocking, I know. I have Pigeon running. It's connected to Facebook chat, uh, uh, AOL Instant Messenger, and I think Yahoo. Um, the terminal client is Terminator. It runs pretty smooth. Fire up HTOF. You can see. Uh, I'm using 79 megs of RAM and 93 megabytes of swap processor. Without HTOF running, it hovers around I don't know, 5-10% usually. Uh, HTOP uses a craft litter out, or processor. And I have Midori running. Focus. I think Midori is WebKit based. I'm not positive. I don't remember. Um, but it's a modern web browser. It has ad blocking, full CSS, and JavaScript support. Um, I use it for the few websites that don't work real well on links, like uh, Flickr or eBay in this case, I'm trying to sell a phone. Uh, it was paged out, so it may take it a second for it to load up. Once it's in RAM, it, it's for the processor speed and everything, I mean, it does really, really well. Doesn't really have an indicator other than this button changes from stop to refresh once the page is loaded. Apparently, it's gonna make a liar out of me. Oh, there it is. Maybe we got a lot of crap on this page. I mostly use links simply because the processor is so slow, but. If you have a little bit of patience, it's not too terrible. <laughs> the laptop can, uh, uh, I can bump it up to 192 megs of RAM, which at some point I'll do that and I'll probably make it a lot, lot smoother to do anything. Man, this phone's autofocus sucks. Focus! Damn it. There it goes. Anyway, there you have it. 300 megahertz Pentium 2 being used every day. Um, when you're not trying to use something like Midori, it runs really, really smoothly. It's mostly just Midori takes up all the physical RAM when it when it loads up. So it's like I right, load up the Powell. Links two is really quick.
and it's the client I usually use or browser. My tech card's huge. There it goes. Uh, I haven't loaded the site up yet, so it wasn't cached at all. It's still rendering, apparently. There it goes. Tech card. That's what it was. I accidentally dragged it over when I was trying to scroll and I was re uh, reformatting the page and it sucked up all the processor. I had a 2010 MacBook Air, the 11 inch. Um, I sold it to help pay for a trip I'm going on uh, into this month. So I haven't always used crappy old laptops in my daily, but I'm for what I do, I'm actually pretty happy with it. So I'll probably be using it for a while. I'll definitely save some money. Uh, I'll probably upgrade the RAM. That's about it, really. Uh, 